Stan Jibalisco here to show you a very interesting way to get a variable capacitance. Uh, I call it a trombone capacitor, but the technical term for it is coaxial capacitor. And what it comprises is simply two lengths of metal tubing, one slightly larger than the other, separated by a sleeve of solid dielectric such as polyethylene. You can buy polyethylene pipe at a hardware store for example uh, and the inside diameter of that uh, polyethylene pipe should just fit over the smaller inner length of metal tubing and the outside diameter of that uh, pipe, that polyethylene pipe should just fit nice and not too snug. You want to be able to slide this thing, but snug enough so it won't wiggle around too much. And then you can simply vary the amount of overlap between the two pieces of uh, metal tubing, copper, aluminum, something like that. This may be uh, anywhere from several centimeters to um, a meter or even a little more than a meter in length. Then you can just slide it in and out until you get the capacitance that you want, generally on the order of picofarads or tens of picofarads. A capacitor like this can serve an obvious purpose in an antenna system, particularly as part of a trap. I designed a trap once I, that I called a toroidal trap, where I connected a toroidal inductor um, in parallel with this uh, sliding capacitance and obtained a trap at a particular frequency simply by putting that big old toroid around the outer piece of tubing. I called it the toroidal trap. Now, I tried to get a patent on the doggone thing and then I then is when I learned that the patent industry is a racket to be avoided in the opinion of W1GV Whiskey 1 Good Vibrations saying 73 for now and so long which in my native fist translates to da 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 da